Hello. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Yeah, we about to go out. Girl, what I'm cooking? He better already have eaten unless he gonna eat this. Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to Milf for Cookies. I am your virtual boo and full-time Milf Vixie. In this video, I'm giving you a few cookies to nibble on as we kick off the second video in my new relationship series. Yes, as I said in my last video, that I'm kicking off this relationship series all about us, how we function or not in relationships. If you haven't done it, please subscribe to my channel, text or DM your girlfriends and get them here with you tonight and every Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. EST to live, laugh, and vibe. Ladies, how do you know that you're being selfish in a relationship? Do you even know? Have you ever been accused of being selfish? Are you a self-proclaimed selfish person? Self-proclaimed selfish person. Being selfish is not cute. It's not a good look. I've often been accused of being selfish in every type of relationship familial, friend, romantic. I was across the board accused of being selfish. Notorious. This is a serious issue in any type of relationship, but of course we're focusing on the romantic type in this series. It's a very personal issue for me, but I'm sure many of you can relate or not. Maybe you're clueless, just like I was. Well, here are 13 clues or signs, Cookie, that you are being selfish in your relationship that's not so romantic anymore. Trust me, I know it's very difficult to hear. But sit down, woman, and let's really have a talk. Let me know in the comments which one of these 13 relate to you, Cookie. Number one, it's your way or the highway. He just gives up or gives in. He goes along to get along, which leads to resentment. You better know it. Number two, you don't listen to your partner's opinion. You feel yours is more valuable. Number three, now this is a big one. I can relate. You don't take accountability. You never admit you wrong. You never apologize. Number four, you expect your partner to change. You want to mold him into what you want him to be. Number five, you always put your needs before your partner's needs. You want his wants to match yours. How'd that work? Number six, you need to be in control all the time. Always have to have your way, controlling every aspect of your life and his. Cookies, you have to trust your partner to make decisions too. I mean, you want a man, you want a boy. Number seven, you're rarely happy for your partner. You might feel jealous or just don't want the best for them. Cookies, you have to show you care about his feelings, about his wants, his desires, his needs. Number eight, Cookies, you don't try as much in your relationship. You're lazy and inconsiderate. You only do things that make you happy, neglecting your man. Number nine, you take your partner for granted. You think he's never going to leave. Then he does. People get tired. Then you crying and you're hanging on to his ankle. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please, baby, please. Stop it. Trust me, Cookies, what you don't do or won't do, there's another female out there that will. Well, don't get mad now. <laughs> but don't let it be too late for you, Cookie. Don't let it be too late for you. Number 10, Cookies, you're always taking and never giving back. Now, I'm not just talking about materialistic things. I'm talking about emotionally, being available to him emotionally. Number 11, you're not empathetic to your partner. What I mean by that is that you're not willing to think about how they may be feeling when they're dealing with a tough situation. You belittle it or him, or you just ignore him and the situation. Number 12, Cookies, you act impulsively. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about shopping. You disregard your man's needs. Again, you're doing things without thinking of your man's feelings, his wants, his needs. 
thinking you know what's best. Are you, you're not even considering how your man might be feeling in that very moment. Now, don't get me wrong, usually this is done out of anger. Not to say that that excuses it, but that's normally when this happens because it's done impulsively. In these moments, we just have to be more aware. Number 13, you are not flexible. You always saying no. You say no a lot because you just not into it. You don't want to play his game. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. No, 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 no. I didn't even realize how much I was saying no. Oh my God. But we have to realize when we saying too many no's. Somebody out there gonna be saying yeah. We gotta compromise and have an open mind. That's the answer to number 13. Compromise and have an open mind. I'm telling you. Open up, open wide. That mind sis. Oh my God, ladies. Thank God and all things that's holy that there is a way that we all can overcome these indiscretions. Trust me, when I sat down and did my research on this subject and I realized that most of these 13 things related to me, I was shook. It's really difficult to hear your man call you selfish or to say that he doesn't like you. It's even more difficult when you have to look in the mirror, look at yourself and say, yeah, yes, yeah, sis, you are selfish. But what's important is that you do look, that you do see, that you do listen to that voice inside your head and you take accountability and that you actually show you give a damn. Now many times us being selfish is unpurposeful, if that's a word. Our action, our words, our uncaring or unfeeling nature may be caused by buried hurt or painful moments and resentment from our past relationships that were unresolved. Think about it. What has caused you to be selfish? If it's something from your past, don't bring that over here. Because it's really think about it. Really consider it. Talk about it. Resolve it. Keep in mind, Cookie, a selfish person, you, me, do not add to a relationship. We take away, we drain it. Honey, the world needs more healthy people and more healthy relationships. I'm tired, aren't you? I'm telling you. Wake up, sis. Wake up. Let go of that selfish nature, that selfish behavior, honey. That selfish mentality, honey. Let it go. What if they ain't gonna let you go, boo? I ain't playing with you. Join me on Instagram at milk.withcookie if you like this video and you found anything helpful or beneficial and you wanna see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time I upload a video, sis. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And you know sharing is caring, so go ahead and share this video with a friend. One of your girlfriends may need to hit this information boo. Hit that share button down below or take a picture of this video. Post that bad boy up on Instagram or Facebook. Don't forget to tag me, boo. Until our next video. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened? Cause y'all know when these lights come on, honey, this lights be just so daggone. Oh, we filming? Damn. <laughs> y'all gotta let people know when y'all filming. Cut. Cut, cut, cut.